Uh, trans women are, are women, but in the prison context, there is no automatic right for a trans so woman. So there are contexts where a trans woman is not a woman? No, there is, <laughs> there is circumstances in which a trans woman uh, will be housed in the male prison estate. Is there any the context in which a woman born as a woman will be housed in the male estate? Look, we're talking here about trans women. And I'm now asking about women born as women. Uh, I don't think there are circumstances there, uh, but... So it's different for trans women? Well, yes, and I, I'm not... So they're not equal? That is not... The, there is a risk assessment process done for trans women that takes account of the nature of the crime. It clearly, it, significant concern arises out of sexual crime and whether it's appropriate for them to be in a female prison okay. or a male prison. Moving on to your legislation. Should someone who has a history of committing sexual crimes against women be allowed to get a gender recognition certificate? Well, there are, of course, provisions in that legislation which is not yet in force, uh, whereby if somebody is going through the process of getting a gender recognition certificate and there are concerns um, about that, there, there can be a pause uh, put on that.